All right, Fredericksburg's city council has voted to move a controversial slave auction block to a museum. But not everyone is happy about this plan. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox is in Fredericksburg and has the story. On a busy street corner in the heart of Fredericksburg, the old stone is shocking to some visitors. A plaque erected in 1984 says it's an auction block and was Fredericksburg's principal auction site in pre-Civil War days for slaves and property. This week, the city council voted to move the stone to a museum. These African-American educators from South Carolina think it should stay. Because that's, that's history. Relics like this are disappearing. If, if we showcase the, the Confederate monuments, why not showcase the, the other side of it, the reason why they were fighting in the first place. But the only African-American on the city council fought hard to get it moved. Chuck Fry helped convince all but one of his fellow council members that it needs to go. It's like a, it's like a trophy uh, uh, for racist folks, something that they could cherish if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, it never told a story. You have a slave quote unquote auction block, um, but you don't have stories of rape, family separation, everything that happened with slavery. I've seen people, you know, make a mockery of it. Longtime Fredericksburg resident Robert Miller agrees. We've had people that have stood on it and taken pictures and all that. And it's, it's part of history in Fredericksburg that really needs to be preserved and well maintained, but it needs to be done so with absolute dignity. The building it sits in front of was a hotel built prior to the Civil War. Councilman Fry says a corner on a busy street is no place to contemplate our brutal and painful past. In Fredericksburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.